Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at the Matchroom Gym today in Brentwood with O'Hara Davies. Yeah. O'Hara, not yet been in the gym, we just got in the gym, you yeah. haven't sparred yet, getting ready. I'll have a little chat to you beforehand. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in the gym today? Um, I'm sparring today. Um, I'm not sure of the guy's name, I'm not sure how many rounds. It'll probably be around eight or ten rounds. You, you did spar anyone, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just love having a fight. So, has their opponent been named yet for your next fight on the Anthony Joshua um, Bill? I was meant to be fighting um, Michael Mooney, oh, but okay. he pulled out last week with, um, I'm not sure what he pulled out with, but um, so, so um, Eddie came down the gym two days ago, he said that he's got someone in mind for me, but he's just back in the office, um, sorting out all the things about the fight, so as soon as um, he gets any confirmation on who I'm fighting, I'll find out, but at this present moment, I'm not sure. Could be anyone. Mm. So, how's the training gone for this camp? It's going great. I'm literally in the best shape that I've ever that I've ever been in. The rounds have been getting longer. The sprints I've been getting a lot better times. My sparring's been getting harder, longer. I'm fitter, sharper. So, this fight you can expect to see the best O'Hara Davis. What have you been doing differently than last time out? This just the hard work for you. I've been I've been. Um, I'm always work hard and I'm consistent with with my training at all times but um, I've been getting a lot fitter now because as you're consistent over more time you get um, fitter and stuff like that. So You build it up like a natural fitness yeah. that you haven't got to work for it. Yes. That's always good. So what, what are you sort of looking to achieve after your next fight because obviously this fight is just uh, like just to get no, you out active. Fight, we've been actually been trying to get me a title fight for this fight. Oh. We've been, they've been trying to get me a title fight but obviously whoever, I'm, I don't want to name names but you know these people they, they don't they didn't want to fight me and um, that's not me trying to boast saying I'm good I'm I'm, the, like, I'm not but honestly the people that have got the titles presently haven't been wanting to fight me so there's nothing I could do but just keep on um, fighting and just working my way up hoping that sooner or later down the line I'll get a title fight so have you been having a little bit of Twitter beef um, yeah with Romeo, <laughs> Romeo. it's not really I wouldn't call it a Twitter beef, but I basically I called him out to fight me because he's been calling out Mitchell Smith and Tommy Martin. What well, come on, he's not going to fight him. Mitchell Smith. He's a what WBO. He's yeah, a European yeah. champion, so he's like so far. He's so far above Romeo achievement-wise that he's not going to come down the level to go and fight him. Tommy Martin, he's an English champion, so he's so far past him achievement-wise. Again, he's not going to come down and fight him. So what I've been seeing is that about. Romeo, he's going and calling out people that he knows that he isn't going to fight, so that he makes himself seem a lot bigger. It's like me going now and calling out um, Luke Luke Campbell. That like achievement-wise, he's so far past me at this present time that it don't matter how many times I call him out right now, it wouldn't happen. That the fight wouldn't <laughs> yeah. it, it wouldn't happen. So that's what he he's basically done. He's going out calling out all these people that he knows that he's not going to fight. So, but I'm someone that I'm, we're not far past each other achievement wise I'm on seven fights he's on eight fights so we can fight each other so that's why I said um, do you want the, do you want that fight of course I do I was like stop calling out these guys if you I mean if you really want to fight someone good then I'm here he hasn't responded not 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 once has he has he responded did you ever train with him when you was in the peacock yeah I spied him before I was in a peacock and when I was at the TKO gym as, a, as an amateur and then when we both when he was both under Tunde Ajayi, we spied each other. And how did that go? You know, sparring was really was really good. I always got the better of him. I wouldn't say by far. It wasn't it wasn't ever like by far, but I always got the better of him to the point where his dad didn't want me and him to spar eventually. So me and him we used to spar, spar, spar and um, you know, even after sparring sometimes I'll see him in the dead arguing like I'll be in the ring doing my shallow boxing because that's what we used to do after a spar and then I look in the corner, I see his dad shouting at him saying, Romeo, don't do this, you should have done that. And then um after and then after a couple of weeks we just stopped like we didn't spar um Smart each other anymore. The rest was history. Yeah, so then I just used to spar the other fighters, you know, we had um that junior Saba there. He Tune will let me spar some of the bigger fighters some sometimes or he'll get sparring from other camps to um to come down. I do think that fight would be really interesting just for boxing itself and sort it of was. like it would. the local area. I'd like to fight him in a ten in a ten round fight. Yeah, I believe I'd like to fight him. I think it would if you waited a little while, it's like one of them fights where it could get bigger as you both sort of escalate as boxers and yeah, maybe a title big, on the line. But there's big fights everywhere. He's not the only one that can have I can have a big fight against. It's true. Have, I can have a big fight against anyone. So if he thinks he's so good, 
then and if he believes that he'll beat me, then he'll fight me now. I'm 100% sure and confident that I'd beat him, so I'd fight him, I'd fight him right now. All right, well, however that pans out, obviously, mm -hmm. with him being Frank Warren, you being with Matt yeah. and Eddie Hearn. I don't, th don't think that really matters. you got Thomas um, Stoker, he's a matching fighter, isn't he? Yeah. He's fighting on the next... No, Tom, he's not. Oh, he's not? Oh, I, th I thought he was. But they had Craig Evans fighting on, um, oh, yeah, on made yeah, the 30th. Yeah, him true. and Scott Cardo fought. That's a Frank Warren fighter. But that was and for the British yeah. title, so they, they, no one's going to turn that down. I'm saying domestically, yeah, but, yeah. if there was nothing on the line to lose apart from an O, it is just a good fight and that's all yeah. it is. There's I nothing. still believe that fight could happen. I still believe that fight could happen. There's no reason why that fight can't happen. Let's make it happen then. It's not up to me, it's up to mm. the, the guys at the top. Mm. It'll no, be a cracking to, fight. It'll no, be one for the up, fans. It's up to him. We'll definitely be up for that fight. I'll definitely be up for that fight. So it's up to him. So you would need to go to him and um, if you want to see that fight, you, you need to go to him. and. Um, I, I can't make the fight. I'm not a matchmaker yeah. and I'm not a promoter. Yeah, yeah but you'd have to try and convince him to to take the fight but anyway I'm up for the fight I'm not you know I mean I'm I'm I'm, I'm up for it and um, yeah all right well hopefully that fight happens because it'll be a great one to watch yeah. O'Hara good luck in your little spa there and good luck next week in your fight Thank you. and thanks for talking to our film Thank you. Cheers,